welcome to my channel it's Rebecca also known as 4kids at 147 and no this isn't the review of the other moment I have already posted that um, this is going to be a framing so um, I didn't have anywhere for this I still don't um, but I did remember that I had a frame um, from Ikea so this is one of the Fisk bow range of frames this one cost the grand sum of about £2.50 um, from Ikea and I realised that it was a 30 by 40 which is the same as what this is so I thought let's do a framing so I like to where possible um, I do like to tend to buy frames that are the same size um, I don't like doing all the trimmings around the edges and stuff so this one is exactly the same size so this is going to be a very easy framing and um, so i'm going to get my ever moment or my hoover can whichever one you get them from these are actually ever moment tweezers because i find they are fantastic for bending up the backs of the frames so we can get straight in and see how quickly we can get a completed diamond painting framed so that's just bent them up, saves my fingers completely. Um, these are quite cheap frames, I say, with only being £2.50. So it's just a standard cardboard back, though it does come with fixtures. Um, we then get a piece of paper, which on the back tells you to take off the clear film um, and then just gives you the product details. So the main thing we need to do with this is take off said clear frame or clear film sorry it does have film on both sides because it's not glass so that's one side taken off and then what I'm actually going to do before taking off the next side just so that it doesn't pick up stuff is I'm going to get the canvas ready so quite simply all I do is cut round the canvas as close as I can to the diamonds as this is a 30 by 40 frame and a 30 by 40 picture of which ever moment is true to the size should just be a straight straight as you can get cut round and then I might go around a few different places in my home and see if I can find somewhere for this to live obviously I have a diamond that's not quite as close to the edge sticking over a bit from the edge so my scissors have helped push that back now you can line around the edges with washi tape and things like that but I like to get a frame that's the right size because I don't want to do that uh, plus a lot of my washi tapes which I already have from my scrapbooking supplies are patterned and they don't work as well um, for diamond painting you are best with the plain ones if you want them for framing I find they tend to look a lot better otherwise they just take a little bit out of the diamond painting themselves and this is what we're here to showcase so I'm just quite simply cutting as close as I can to the diamonds all the way around and that should technically be the right size for the frame we will be able to tell in a bit. I'm just cutting. My scissors tell me if I get too close to the diamonds because it gets harder to cut through. But this is how I like to frame most of mine. Even one that I did have a board around, what I actually did was I still cut around the painting like this. But then just to show you an example, I actually stuck it to the background sheet and created my border that way. Um, whereas, of course, with this one, we are the same size. So now we've cut round that, what I'll do is I'll remove the second piece of film. So we have a nice clear front and get that one to sit inside the frame there we go get rid of the rubbish and then this way is the top oh look I've managed to get something on the back of my canvas 
no idea what that is. Uh, I'm going to pop the paper back in just because, why not? If I ever want to put a smaller painting in, um, I can always mount it to that paper. And then we'll do it this way because that is, of course, the top. And that, quite simply, should be that. Find where I put my tweezers. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put down one on each side just while we have a look and check it looks good. Wow. Okay, so I'm checking. I've not managed to pick up any bits in between. So let's pop down the other sides. And I find even though a diamond painting is thicker than maybe a poster, most frames will accommodate that anyway. And there we go. My lights are shining on it, which is the reflection you can see, but wow. Look, £2.50 from Ikea. And my ever moment is framed with a fixture ready to go on the wall. How easy was that? It's going to be one of my shorter videos and it's a framing of a design. You do lose a little bit from round the edge, a row or two maybe while it, for the lip of the frame itself, but you can still fully see what that image is. Um, and as I say, without the reflection of my lights, that looks pretty amazing. So yeah, that is my framing of my ever moment. Now I just need to find a spot where it works, um, but yeah. Thank you so much for joining me. If you've got any questions in regards to framing, I'll do my best to help. But to be honest, this is the way that I frame most of mine. Um, I get a frame that's the right size. I cut all the bits off the edge and I put it down. If the frame is slightly smaller, a lot of the time I still cut all the way around the edge. Um, and then I, whatever background sheet it's got, It'll normally have a bit of a border. I just stick the diamond painting on the top. But yeah, that is my ever moment framed. So thank you so much for joining me. And I'll speak to you all again soon.